Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, an Apple TV Plus new Monsterverse based TV show will occupy a very unique space within the Monsterverse timeline that has been covered in the movies, an Apple TV new show Monarch Legacy of Monsters is exciting for Monsterverse fans for many reasons, but one of the most intriguing aspects of the new show is where in the universe's timeline it takes place, the series will follow several agents of Monarch, the research-oriented titan-hunting organization that has acted as a common thread between all the movies that have been a part of the Monsterverse, available plot details have been scarce up to this point, but there have been some interesting developments as far as what part of Monarch's history the show will follow, and the Monsterverse movies have largely been praised for their emphasis on Kitcha clashing action, but they've left a lot to be desired as far as the human characters are concerned. Monarch Legacy of Monsters could provide the human backstory that the movies have been lacking so far, which would enhance the overall strength of the Monsterverse. Some of the details that have been released point to advanced universe building, beginning with the time periods that the show will cover. And Monarch Legacy of Monsters takes place in 1950s and 2010s. And Monarch Legacy of Monsters will cover both the origins of the titular organization in the 1950s and the time frame surrounding Godzilla's modern resurgence and battle with the Mudos circa 2014. The legendary Kurt Russell has been cast as a mysterious army officer named Lee Shaw, and his son Wyatt Russell will play a younger version of the same character. Presumably, Shaw's journey will act as a throughline between the 1950s and the 2010s, while it's not yet clear how Shaw relates to the Monarch organization or even if he's a hero or villain the high-profile casting likely indicates that the role will be prominent in the development of Monarch, and as has been mentioned in various entries of the Monsterverse, Monarch was originally founded to track and study Godzilla after he was awakened by nuclear testing in the 1950s, covering the situation that birthed Monarch makes total sense for the show, and it could provide an exciting look at the history of Godzilla as well as how Monarch came to track the dozens of titans that it has information on by the time the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters occur. And what Monarch Legacy of Monsters can reveal about the Monsterverse. And the fact that Monarch Legacy of Monsters is covering the 1950s and 2010s indicates that Monsterverse fans may have a ton of previously unanswered questions addressed by the show, first and foremost, it seems inevitable that the organization's beginnings will be covered which should lead to many questions about how the organization came to find and track Titans being answered. The two time frames can provide an interesting look at how Monarch's methods have evolved over time, and some of the most sought-after information missing from the Monsterverse is related to the Titans themselves, and that provides the biggest opportunity for Monarch Legacy of Monsters, showing two different time frames across a TV show versus the limited runtime of a movie should provide plenty of chances to showcase some of the other titans teased in Godzilla King of Monsters, the in-depth investigation into the time period explored in Godzilla 2014 can also provide insight into what the Alpha himself gets up to when he's not slapping down challengers to his throne. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again. Bye guys have a good day.